Hello again guys and welcome back to Train Simulator 2015. We are back here to do some more train driving. Not very good train driving because it's me. Uh, do you really expect me to drive a train to a, to a good level? You shouldn't because I never ever do. I'll speed at least once. I'll probably, do, I'll probably exceed comfort levels at least once. That's just what I do. Uh, anyway, the, the, the next one that we are doing today is a uh, boxcar shunt. Uh, it is in the SD40-2 SF. Um, it's autumn clear, 8.30 in the morning. Use the Santa Fe SD42 to shunt boxcars of Victor Valise, then pick up more motive more motive power from Victor Villa and begin a journey south. It's basically this one by sounds of it's gonna involve a lot of shunting, so we'll see how it goes. It's the shortest one for quite a while though, only 40 minutes long. So see you in the scenario starts, guys. And we're here. Okay. So we have to all the red box cars need coupling to the rear of your engine. Start with the box cars in signing one, then signing two, and finish with the box cars in signing six and seven. So, so we just need to reverse and pick up the ones in siding 1, and then these ones in siding 2. Fair enough. We can do that. Oh, oh it's not, don't fucking... Oh my lord. We don't want to shunt the box box cars off the road, we actually want to couple them to the, to the back of our train, you know. So... Let's just be careful. Let's just take it easy. There we go. Uh, have we actually coupled? No. There we go. Right. So, so now we have to, now we have to get the ones inside in two. So if we just accelerate the other way, and we go past that junction, I guess. So yeah, it's it's like it's like we're going along, I guess. You know, we're just going like du du du, and just collecting all of our little uh, box cars and wagons and things. Hopefully, it shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't take a few minutes. Maybe about ten, fifteen. Because this scenario is what forty minutes long. So yeah. Just need to get past this this junction here, and then we should be good to reverse. Or is it that a junction? I don't know. Oh, don't speed! Don't freaking speed! Scan down. We don't want to speed. So we just need to go into number two now, right? Which means we change that and then that. And then we back up. Like so. Yeah, siding two, we're going the right way. Just watch the back of the train again to make sure we don't overdo anything. Which ones after this? Six and seven. Okay, is, is that those ones? Yeah, it is. Okay, we can do that. Just slowly collide with this. Oof, that was a bit rough. Uh, oh, it's 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 all coupled. It's all coupled on anyway. We don't need to do anything else. Tell you what, slow down completely first before we start moving forward because I'm a, I'm a little bit wary of changing the direction while we're still moving. It's probably not a good idea. I said four, five, six. 
Oh lord. Yeah, we're gonna have to get past that one again. Well, no, I have to get past that one. Just the first one. So far we have something like eight cars, I think. Which is still a decent amount. There's, 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 there's plenty more to come, of course, but you know. Okay, slow right down. Should we pass that signal now? We're past the junction anyway. Or are we? Oh Christ, we're not at all. We, we are not past the. We're not past that junction at all. Uh. Making errors already. <laughs> Apparently, we can't go past that. Oh, well, actually, we can. We just have to stop quite soon afterwards. Oh, shit. We, we didn't actually go past that. Well, I suppose it'll count us as doing it, but hey, it's not actually red anyway, is it really? Oh god, it's it's, it's on flat red now, that's the problem. Uh, okay, so we just back up, do we? Is it siding 6? We need to go. Right, so... It's the third one along. Which means change that. Yeah, that should be right. I think. No, that's siding two. Somehow, I don't know how that's happened. Oh, no fucking wonder. <laughs> yeah, there we go. It's siding six now. Just see. Oh, I don't know if we managed to get the siding too like that, but obviously there's a good reason. So once we've taken all of these, we're going to have to get the ones from siding 7 and then we can uh, do something else, I guess. Do, do something else with that time. Be those ones there, I believe. And there we are. And I don't, yeah, okay, we are, we are coupled. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Right, now once again, I have to get the whole train forward again. And pass the signal. Oh, the junction. I, 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 should, I should start saying junction, but it's, it's not really working for me. Uh right, so gotta go down gotta go down that line. Which which signal do I have to change anyway? Just uh that one and then that one. Right, okay. I think I think I can do that. Should be able to.
and stop. Shame we'll probably take the piss stopping. Okay, we're good, we're good. So then we now have to change that and then that. If we go backwards again, that should have us going down to siding seven. It does indeed. Awesome. One more. One more. We have to do for this. said something about collecting extra uh, sort of locomotion, I guess. These cars that are half your train, you need to make, pick up more cars and mo m and motive power from Victorville. Drop all these cars off in Victorville siding 5. We have to drop, oh, drop all them off in siding 5. That's the one down here, isn't it? Is it not? Oh, yeah it is. Thought it was. So if we go forward again... Pretty sure I'll end up going the right way from here. If not, then god dang. So, so we need to drop all of these off. All of them. Christ. Wonder where we're going to get our uh, extra locomotion from. I do wonder. Look at this guy as well with all those really gold... Actually, hang on, I'm, I'm a... Oh, I'm a bit worried all of a sudden. I'm a very worried all of a sudden that we're actually gonna... No, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Oof. Sorry. I was slightly worried that, that the signal was, or the junction was set to go right. Um, right, let's not have any scares like that again, please. Just, just never, ever, ever have that again. I'd prefer not to go through that. To have just shunted all, 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 all of these, uh, oh, oh, sorry, to, to have just coupled uh, all of these cars. To then go ramming right into the side of a moving train would probably be a bit of a disaster for me. This is all for a journey south as well, isn't it? So. Yeah. Maybe to all San Bernardino, I guess. Quite possibly. We'll see. It probably won't be our responsibility, to be honest. It'll probably do like, oh, you know, you 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 gonna like assemble the train, but then as soon as you have to go, stop. It's it, it's 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 only the shunting that's up to you. Which I, which I don't mind, I guess. That's fine, fine with me.
So we just need to drop all of these cars off on this siding and then we have to go and get some locomotion and a bit more cargo, I guess. Hmm. Well, to, to be fair, the benefit for this for this train is that oh no, hang on, no 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 no, sorry, no, it's right. Yeah, well, it, it'll be it'll be doing a little bit uphill, but then afterwards it's downhill. So yeah, I, I was about to say that the benefit of the train is that you don't have to go through the uphill segment, but it, it does a bit, a little bit, to get to the summit. I guess we may as well go to the end, I suppose, or quite far, at least. It might save us a bit of time. I say it might, I don't know. Don't know that for a fact. I, ho I hope it saves us a bit of time. Means we can spend, t spend less time waffling around. Maybe that's what we're going to pick up uh, before back into this again. Quite possibly. Well, since we are rapidly approaching the end of this uh, siding, I guess I could probably stop about now. Nah, I can, <laughs> I can go a little bit further. We don't see much hassle. Because, you know, we're not going to be blocking anything because everything's on the siding, so... If somebody comes barreling into these into these cars, then it's their own fault. It's not my fault at all. Can I go okay back there? Looks like it. No doubt, no doubt I'll have exceeded passenger freight comfort levels somewhere, though. I always do. I haven't actually sped yet, though. Amazingly, I haven't actually gone over the speed limit. Well, I haven't. I have a little, but I've not actually hit 16, which, you know, I've got like I think I, I think I went 15.9 and then and then slowed down, which was which is quite lucky. So I might escape without any penalties if I'm lucky. Probably not though. There'll, there'll be something that that I've gotten completely wrong. Right, I think this is probably a good idea, a good good area to stop it in. And just uncouple everything. It is everything, isn't it? Two two four three three nine to two two three three nine zero. I oh, just let them go. Yeah. And then and eh? I failed. Two two four three. Wait, did I? Oh, I had to let that go as well. Even though you did. Oh my! Cheers. Thank you. I mean, I should have known that anyway. 
but come on. So, so I failed that, I guess then. Cool. Very, very cool. Wow. Can't believe that. I went without Operation Lyra's all this way in, into this scenario, and then I go and do that. But why? Why was... Why was 223833 after 224339? It wasn't that way on the train! <sighs> I guess I'm just being very picky, but still, that's quite frustrating, because I, I was hoping for like a, a clean slate, but no. I, I, well, it, it's not going to be an operational failure, I guess, but it's going to say that I didn't complete one of the objectives. Which is going to be a bit of a pain. Just need to stop about here. May have gone the teeniest bit too far, but hey. Can't be helped. Uh, right, so. Oh, Christ, let me do that. If we reverse. Just have to change that signal. And that junction. Just have to change that junction. That's right. And we reverse and couple with those uh, locomotives and carriages and such. And then we can all be one big happy family. And have kids and such. <laughs> develop, develop more rail cars. And feed them to the, to the Cajon Pass. Because everyone will be thrilled at that. Right, so let's go at this a little bit more slowly. Let's not do anything stupid. There we are. You now you now have the extra mo extra motive power to continue. Add your original box cars to the back. Right. So then we go forward again. To go a little bit further down the line now, of course, because of the uh, amount of cars in the back. Is that people? Why is the people standing there? Has, has your car broke down on, on the crossing? Is, is is that what's happened? Well, if it's, if it's any consolation, oh god, no! It's oh no! It's happened! It's happened again! They're back! <laughs> oh no! It's 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 the fucking oh. I, I, I don't know. I don't know where to start with them. Oh, don't speed up! Good grief! I don't. I don't know where to. I don't know where to start with those guys. All those African Americans in Hawaiian shirts. That's not. It's not. Uh, 
a racist thing, by the way. Just making that clear. It's 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 just an observation. <laughs> just an observation that that there is indeed quite a lot of African Americans in Hawaiian shirts that have, that have in, actually invaded the train platform. It's not. <laughs> It's not the fact that they're uh, that they're all African American. It's it's the fact that they're all the same person. <laughs> Someone is just really bred very quickly at once, and has just given birth to a bunch of identical twins. Well, I identical kids. I I don't know what the term would be for about twenty five babies at once, but, you know. We're gonna have a very fucking big train after all the after all said and done on this, aren't we? Wow, we'll have a very 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 big train. That was a bit of a hard shove, uh, that was. Uh. Oh. There we go. Head south down the line to Sperry Sighting 4 where you, where, you, where you have a brief stop to allow a passing train. And there the scenario will end. Okay, so forwards to Hesperia Siding Na four. I thought it was thought it was nine then for some reason. It's all the way down there, isn't it? Somewhere. I think. Is it is it down here? Where are we going? Yeah, it, it is down here, yeah. Okay, so let's go. This will this this will probably take the piss because it's uphill. Not that not not the game will laugh at me and say, Ha, you slow fucker. You slow motherfucker. So, we started about half eight in the morning, right? And it's now 8.53, so that's taken us, what, 23 minutes to do. That's not, that's not bad. Uh, so, yeah, I, I guess 40 minutes is probably about right. Uh, for the whole scenario. There's the two people still sitting there. That castle hasn't moved. I mean, I'm sure it could have gone by now. All the duplicates still loitering around there. This single ahead of me is, is fine to pass, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Of the train. The trains have hoods? No. I doubt it. Over here, cars don't even have hoods, they have bonnets. Okay? <laughs> Get it right. Now, oh, the whole English language versus American language is always a great debate, really, isn't it? It's always good fun. Someone's left some. Th someone's left some barrels just lying by the side of the track again. Don't know why you'd want to do that. I don't know what benefit it brings to anyone leaving three barrels by the side of a rail a railroad. But I don't know. I do not know.
We're about to enter a 35 and then a 45 zone too, so we can certainly uh, start getting a move on once we're past this. But of course, with the size of the train, there is there will be a slight delay in the time that it's going to take for us to actually be able to go 35 and 45. Ah, oh, there's that glorious water again. Just look at this. Not too shabby for 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 a very low quality, I guess. Is it? <laughs> Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Can't fault it too much. Then again, like I said, I, I doubt the guys, you know, at Rail Simulator are overly uh, fussed about their water textures. They're probably more focused throughout the gameplay, but of actual the actual train driving. But you know. Passengers 50, 45. Well, we can't even go 35 yet. Because the train's that long, it's struggling to even get into the damn frickin' zones. Ah, well. Just have to wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. Lots and lots and lots of waiting. <laughs> well, we're not waiting; we're moving. I guess it's 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 better than being stood still at at a, at a signal. I guess for about half an hour, like some freaking scenarios have done, have done to me. Shouldn't be long though before we can actually get a move on. There's plenty of spare farmland off to off to our right. You. Is that a duplicate of the same house? I think it is. You lazy fuckers. God damn it. Get more houses, guys, please. It's worth it, trust me. So close to 35, come on. You can do it. Yes. Yes, 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 there we go. We've entered 35 even though the train hasn't actually gone past the 35 mark, but who cares. The main thing is that is that we now can go 35, which is very good. So, pump the throttle up to max. Got to cruise along for a bit before we, actually, before we have to uh, ease off again. Hopefully this whole thing will bring the ETA down a little bit. Although, it, it's sometimes hard to tell if the ETA is actually taking into account the speed limit changes or not. Because sometimes you feel like it does. And it probably is, to be fair. I'm probably not giving the ETA enough credit. And there's 45. I hope this signal... Oh no! It's red. Oh, for f Stop! Stop right there, please. <sighs> There goes my clean slate in the operational areas department. I didn't know that that was gonna be freaking. Oh. What's the stoppage? That? That's not even on the right track. Oh, I guess it might be. Okay, let's just back up. Back up. Hang on. Ah. 
I, I have to pay more attention to signals and stuff. It's 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 been a big downfall. If I if I had the sort of uh, scenario where it ends at passing a danger signal thing on, I'd be screwed. I would never finish the scenario. I'd still be on the tutorial right now, I think, if, if that was turned on for me. But even worse, if, if there was one which made it end if you were speeding. That would just be catastrophic. Okay, just hang on. Just, just, just hang around here. And wait for this damn bugging train to pass. Is it? Has that stopped? Why is that train stopped? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. So, so that junction isn't set correctly for. Okay, so yeah, we will be taking the 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 line that that train is on. Okay, it's moving again. Okay, I see. So we have to wait for that one to pass. Okay, fine, fine. That's fair enough, I guess. Bloody priorities, trains, and such game, getting all the thunder out of me. <sighs> can't win with this game. Just can't win. Still no passenger view either. Haven't had a passenger view in a long time. There's not many passenger trains run, run the car and pass, really, is there? It's, it's, it's very much a sort of arid area, so... Nothing ever really much going on there. There's a... M this, this train is absolutely massive. It's going to take an age for it to get past us. But we shall remain patient and diligent. And hopefully we'll get somewhere. Because right now we aren't getting anywhere. We're just sort of here. Stuck. Forever. The only consolation is that I did actually notice that the, that the signal was red. If I was like looking at the map at the time when we had actually passed that signal and it was red, I would have just carried on and inevitably just had a head-on collision with that other train, which... I don't even want to know where, where... I don't even want to know where that would have ended up. Probably in a different state. No, that's. Would have flew over to Arizona. Huh. I guess this is why the ETA was so, uh. Was so uh, long, uh, f far away. I guess was so so uh, so far ahead of us. Because you think usually it might have been done about ten, fifteen minutes, but it was a lot longer than that. And now we know why. Because we have to wait for this train, this gargantuan train. Away now. Not too far. Not too far away with all of its mixed freight and all the other box. Is that right in the background? Is, is, is that it there? I think I can see it. Just there, off to the in the far distance, side to the right. If you can't see my see my mouse pointer, I don't know if you can or not. Yeah, that there's the train there, just off to the right. I can just barely see it.
Oh, this... This train's gonna take about five minutes to even, to even get all the way past us. It's taken five minutes to get here, but now it's gonna take that extra bit of time to even go past. That's the fantastic bit. I mean, just look, just look where the back of the train is. It's all the way back there. I guess I shall return when the train has passed, so back in a moment. Okay guys, the signal is finally changed, so we can get a move on now, finally. <sighs> Took a while, but in a way it's worth it, because if I'd have just carried on and not actually stopped, then things would have been a lot worse. <laughs> you know. I always gotta look on the bright side. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. But it wasn't. If I had just said, screw it, you know what? I, d I don't care about the signal. I would have crashed right into that train. Or I would have derailed actually, because I'm not even sure if the junction is set properly. So yeah, remember, if you're ever on train simulator and you actually you accidentally pass a red signal, don't just say fuck it, go back. Go back and stop. Let's just ease off a bit as well, by the way, because uh, I'm, not, I'm not massively confident in taking this train uh, onto a different track going at high speeds. So I'll just try and take. I'll just try and take this quite easily if I can. That train's still going past me. It's incredible. I mean, my train's big, but that one is something else. It really is. Sod it. Let's just go. We'll, we'll be fine. I'll save just in case. Since since we've we've came this far, there's no need to. Uh, I know it's anything stupid, I have to just be quite careful, but we should, we should be okay. Got me on trust the kind of Diet Coke in the fridge downstairs while I was working. Don't even like that. Don't, don't even like Diet Coke, really. <laughs> but, hey, like I said, cold wet carbonated. Oh, I can deal with it. Let's just witness the back of this train going off to the other track and then we should be okay. Yep, we're good. Everything's fine. Now, to Hesperia. This Santa Fe train. Limit's gone down to 40 as well, of course, if you didn't notice. So, a little bit of a decrease uh, compared to what it was, but it's going to go back up to 45 in a minute, judging by the uh, mini map. So, that's all good. Got no complaints to that. Be careful, do my best not to speed. If if I can go a whole scenario without speeding, I'll be very impressed with myself. 
It's not likely at all, but you know. Here comes the uphill little bit here. It's it's beginning the uphill segments. So might as well put the throttle up again because we're we're, we're quite unlikely to go over 45 now. It's uh, we might do, I guess, but it's going to take quite a while to get there due by the, the, these hills. It's less than five miles this area now anyway though, so we shouldn't have too many, too many problems getting there. Just to check that this signal ahead of us here is, is definitely green, because I'm, I'm going to double check to check all this. Wait, what? It's a, it's a double signal, it's a double signal, it's okay. Oh my god. I hate that. I really don't hate that. It's never your signal either. It's never the signal that you have to deal with, it's always something else. It's always the one that's going the other way. No, no. That one is as well, I know. Engines there. Exactly like mine. Mine's better. Mine's better. <laughs> oh yeah, that was the thing that I thought was a turntable, didn't I? But it's just a random road going around. Don't know why that's there. Don't know why that's there at all. There's probably a good reason for it. I don't know what it is, but there's probably a good reason. So that's just, just about past through Thorn now. Oh shit, we're speeding. Oh, I did it. I did it. Yep, see. It was always going to happen, wasn't it? It was always going to happen. There was there'd be always be a moment where I'd just have a lapse of my attention, be looking at the map, and then completely forget about what speed I was going, and then bang, I'm speeding. Bloody catastrophe it is. Absolute catastrophe. I was doing so well. But no. Have to have to speed at some point. Have to. Always have to be an absolute bell and start speeding, doesn't it? We 
going to go a little bit faster in the moment anyway though because because of this 15 miles an hour zone not a massive difference really and uh we'll be barely in distance left by the time we actually enter the zone but every little helps whatever helps us get there that little bit quicker it's it's all good Not too far to go now, as you can see on this map. Let me just check that, that this is definitely up here to pass. I think that's green. It's green or yellow as well. It's definitely not red, but it is a a two signal thing. I would say double signal, but you know, you know I mean, it's probably just completely incorrect. Stupid sounding. No doubt we'll have to slow down to about 15 miles an hour in a moment as well, because if we're if we're going down sidings and such, we usually have to slow down. Hopefully not, but probably will. Yeah, there we go. There's a random change to 55 before it goes down to 15, because that makes sense. Because that really, really does make absolute sense. Right, let's start slowing right down. I'll probably change as soon as we go past this freaking signal, judging by the other game usually acts. <sighs> Not quite, but still. I'm not taking any risks. Haven't actually gone. Haven't actually gone down to 15 miles an hour speed limit yet, but it, it'll, it'll happen in the moment. And it, so many times in the past, it's changed before we we actually passed the point in the map. I, I, I'm not taking anything for granted anymore. Why the hell this change? Oh, okay, may, oh, maybe it's 55 down the down the main line, but then because we're going down the siding, it actually changes to changes to 15. That's probably why. That's probably what's what's happened there. So if if we were to carry straight on, we'd be able to go 55, but uh, we can't because we're uh, going off to the side here. Yeah, there we go. It's changed to 15 there.
Whew. So we're co finally coming to the end, end of this little uh, scenario. Quite enjoyed this one. Nice, nice mixture of uh, shunting and uh, driving. Obviously, obviously, quite short compared to the other ones. Obviously, we've recently done ones that have been up to up to two hours long. I just don't get me started on Big Jack's climb again. But this one, you know, quite relaxed compared to those ones. Good short length. Quite, quite enjoyable. On a different style of train as well. Well, so I say it's a different style. It's the same layout and everything, but it it's it, it's it's painted differently. Yeah. It's painted differently. <laughs> that's, that's that's the main change. It's just painted differently. But that little bit of change makes all the difference. It really does. We just have to wait now until uh, until the whole train is in the siding, and then we can finally just stop. So let's check the back of the train. Keep an eye on it. Make sure it goes into the siding quite smoothly. Just make sure we don't have any technical hitches on the way, which, which is very unlikely, but given this game's nature, you can never be too sure. And stop. Stop. There we go. Nice wait to the uh, scenario to conclude here. You finished the scenario, but did not complete all instructions. Try again. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. It's finished. Okay, it's finished. Fucking nothing pops up as finished on this game for me anyway, for some reason. Uh, okay, so that's that scenario done. It's my fault that we, that we didn't count anywhere, I guess, because I should have just uncoupled everything. Uh, okay, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and share with your friends. Stay tuned for episodes of Train Simulator 2015. If you have any suggestions, things I can do in Train Simulator, uh, games that I can play on this channel. Or things I can do to improve my videos, then please leave your suggestions in the comment section down below. Uh, please like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Both the links are in the description below as well. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks again, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Have a nice day. Cheers. Bye.